and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video we got in today. We got a brand new limited time legend in packs. Now, I don't want to say legend, although he is a legend, but it's not. He's under the most viewed promo. Now, if you guys remember from last week when we got hit by surprise, where I, I personally think EA messed up. They can say whatever they want. They did end up saying that it was supposed to be out, but it wasn't on Mudhead. It wasn't on Twitter. No one knew about it. And they released like a poorly edited graphic going over it literally like after everyone started freaking out. I was on the auction block last week and I was looking at just some Mutt 10 cards and I see Limited Time Levy on Bell just sitting there. There's two or three on the block and I, I, I texted Zerk about it. And then we put it on Twitter and then about 20, 30 minutes later, Kralo and all of them were tweeting out like, oh yeah, Levy on Bell just came out and packed. But he's been out for at least two hours if they pulled three or four of them ready. It's kind of a sketchy situation, but because of that, we had a feeling there'd be another limited time legend drop for most feared coming out on Sunday, which it actually did, as you guys can see. So I'm going to be going over that in a second. It is Dante Hall. He's a wide receiver um, for the Washington Redskins, obviously. It's pretty, pretty cool. I believe he does come with a power up too, if I saw that correctly on my head. So you can power him with like a 91. Obviously, going to be super fast. If I'm, cr Am I wrong? Is that the human joystick? Was that the guy who was like crazy at kick returns? Pretty sure that's him, guys. I'm going to go over all the stats on Mudhead, show you guys everything going over it. Last week, it was Le'Veon Bell. This week, is Dante Hall, which I believe will be scary fast. So, we have scary sharp, scary fast, limited time legends. If all goes right, next Sunday, which is the following Sunday, I don't know if the promo will be over by then, but if it's not, they should be releasing their last limited time legend, or maybe they'll squeeze it in a little bit earlier. Now, guys, before we get into the video, make sure you're going below, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell, boys. Come join the family. We're so close to 11k. We're like 100 subscribers away. Come join the family. You won't regret it. We gotta keep grinding out to our next big milestone, which is 20k. Comment down below what you guys think of this Dante Hall. I wasn't actually expecting this. It's pretty cool. I knew there'd be a limited time legend, but I was not expecting Dante Hall. I, I mean, I knew there'd be a limited time card. And if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Smash the like button. Let's get the video to 250 likes. Now let's head over to Mudhead to go check out all the stats. So guys, here's the Dante Hall card. Obviously, of course, the card art isn't loading, but there we go. Dante Hall, wide receiver for the Washington Redskins. Scary fast, limited time card. Max salary cap, obviously, because he is going to enrage on Halloween or the day before, depending on what to do it. He's 5'8", 187. Use this item to complete a step on the player's power-up item. This player will be enraged for 48 hours starting at 10 a.m. on October 30th. So, it goes for the day before Halloween, the day of Halloween, and then following morning, it does relieve. So, you can power this card off. I'll show you guys the power-up card separately after this, too. He has 92 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 49 strength. Yeah, strength's a little low, but could expect that for a wide receiver such as Dante Hall. 78 jumping. The jumping's a little low, actually. He's got 91 awareness. So pretty much, this is like Tyreek. Literally, take basically Tyreek Hill and make him fast. And that's kind of what this card is. Just with way better. Wow. He's a, he's a kick returner. That's literally what he is. If you if you combine Tyreek Hill with a running back, this is literally what it would look like. 93 break tackle. 80. Yeah, this, this is a kick return card. I gotta see what the power up's looking like. If the power up. If the power up card can get anywhere near these stats, that'll be the best kick return card in the game, along with Deion Sanders. But let's go over the stats again. I kind of rushed here real quick because I wasn't, I was excited. 84 catch, 79 catch in traffic, 78 spec catch, 82 short route running, 78 medium route running, 81 deep route running, 74 release. So he's not a receiver. He is not literally a receiver. He is a special teams card. He is a kick returner. That's what he's going to be used for. Now you can put him in the slot. If you get him wide open, he's going to be crazy. He could probably get, he could probably get jukebox and evasive. Wow, I might, have to, I might have to scoop this card. You can honestly pick this card up, toss him in the slot, power up, put evasive on him, and you or jukebox, and you could literally be like overpowered out of the slot. I might have to look into that. He's going to be a beast if he can do all that. Guys, this could be crazy. This could be, this could be something new. If you can get oh, jukebox, evasive, either or, because I know, I know jukebox or evasive can go in the second slot, and he does have a 94 juke move. Now, it all depends on what stats his power up card. I'm going to have to go check that out. And obviously, I'll, show you, I'll tell you guys all that on Twitter, so that's why I should always go over there. But his off-ball stats, like his, his after-the-catch stats, 94 elusiveness, 94 ball carry vision, 93 spin move, 94 juke move, 85 carrying, and 93 break tackle. Alone, that break tackle, like Saquon Barkley, on kick return, on kick return, guys naturally break tackles. So like, they naturally break a ton. Now, imagine with a guy with an actual break tackle stat with good carrying to avoid fumbles, good juke moves. This is the, this is the wow. I'm going to have to put this guy in my slot and probably a kick returner. Although he's limited time, he should be getting a redux shortly once series three ends so i'll either be picking up his redux card or i'll be powering him up all the way because this card is going to be a guy you want for you're probably gonna want him i can literally see him right now you run a drag with him wide open jukebox breaking tackles he's gonna be literally the human joystick unless this is the first card that can actually get human joystick which would be crazy 
Wow. I don't want to know that the day that card comes into the game or that cam is able to be used in the game is going to be the day the game dies. 93 spin move. This card is going to be crazy. Obviously, as a wide receiver, not the best, but you're not really using him to contest. You're not going to use him as an outside receiver. You're probably going to be using him as a slot guy. Running a little quicker outs. Now, I want to show you guys his power up card in a second. Let's see what his uh his intang intangibles are and stuff. Brace for all hits. Fights for extra yards. No, makes rack catches. Yes, makes possession catches. Yes, high motor. Yes, makes sideline catches. The human joystick finally comes to mind. Yeah, I had a feeling that was him. Okay, let's head back to Mudhead real quick. I believe they do have the Dante Hall power up card. Let's see what his stats look like all the way. I feel like you guys want to see this. Upgrades. Let's upgrade him all the way to his 91. Cost. How much training would that cost? 6,700 training. Yeah, that's like 200k. He'll get 91 speed still. Excel, 92 Excel, 92 agility, 90 awareness, 80 catching, 90 stamina, 86 injury, 90 looseness, 88 break tackle, 91 ball carry vision, 90 spin, 91 juke. So he still hits the zone. I mean, the, the spin move and juke move threshold, ball carry vision threshold, almost a break tackle. So essentially, if he can actually get these abilities on him, he should still be able to get evasive and juke boxes, which makes this card pretty insane. Although 6,000 training is kind of a lot. Obviously, we will make do with that. Now, let's head on back to the man screen real quick. Uh, I mean, in my opinion, should you guys record, should you guys upgrade him? All depends on the training value. I believe that should cost you a little bit around like 200 something training, 200K worth of training. It's up to you. This is more of a luxury, right? If you have the extra coin and you want like some stud kick returner, it's if you can get jukebox and evasive. So I'm gonna wait on Twitter until people alert us that we can get a jukebox or evasive on it once we know that. Then you guys go for it. I wouldn't even pick it up until I know because personally, I don't want to waste the training if you cannot. If you can't get all that stuff, he's going to be overpowered because he'll be the only receiver that can get that stuff. And like I said, I could care less about his catching stats out of the slot. He is definitely worth it if you can get him wide open. He's going to make, he's going to make, he's going to break tackles, make people miss, and really bring it all the way to the house consistently. Now let's head back on over to the man screen. All right, guys, so back on the man screen real quick to show you guys. So I'm going to show you guys the training values real quick so you guys have an idea of what they'll cost. That's about 7,000 training. Let's see if I have a loose card here that isn't chemmed up. I don't think I do, but obviously not bad to check. Let's say we use... I got nothing here. I will. I'm going to go back to the auction block, actually. I believe for the training value, it is 4,900 for a 90. So it's going, you're going to need about a 91 or 92. So let's see what those are going for right now. And obviously, remember, you can't buy most feared cards, so don't make that mistake. You're going to probably need like a 91. I Obviously, there's cheaper training values, but I'm not going to go in depth on the, I'm not gonna the values right now. But if we come on down to 91s, if you use like Urlacher, like one of these mud heroes right here, it'll cost you around 200k for one of these. He's probably quick sell for closer to like mid 6,000s. So you're going to need a little bit more than that. But in theory, it's going to cost between 200 and 250k depending on what you buy. So that's not horrible. Is he worth it? I think so. Because like, I don't think any other receiver has, the, even Tyler Lockett has pretty good stats. He's pretty up there. But that break tackle is huge. I'm telling you guys, Saqu look, look at Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley's break tackle is like that and he consistently just bounces off people and on kick returns remember when you get that when you get that pinball bounce off um, animation that's usually when you score right you guys know what i'm talking about you run up to the guy they hit stick you and you you like stumble bum a little bit you pop back up you break off of it and that's it they literally push you outside the, the train of people and you run right up the field so let's see saquon barkley's thing real quick let's just show you guys the stats 95 break tackle he's gonna have and if he, that's powered up and chemmed up, you power up this down the hall and get everything up. He's gonna have a better break tackle, if not the same. Trust me, it's definitely worth the scoop if you guys have the luxury of coins. Now, as a limited time card, remember, Series 3 should be releasing, I believe, November 1st. So that means he should be a Redux card. And I think even as a Redux, it'll probably still cost a million coins. But maybe they'll give us a house, a, another house where we can pull a limited time Redux card, which would be really awesome. Maybe we can get Dante Hall. It's pretty cool to add him back to the game. Now, I'm kind of fearful that he'll get that human joystick chem. I really don't know if he does get that that's crazy let's see let's see what it would look like i think it depends on your archetype to get it but let's see evasive human joystick you need a 99 overall or a 99 agility so he does not have 99 agility although i don't know if that's just because his archetype doesn't allow for it obviously we'll know soon we'll know soon if adam starts getting destroyed guys but that is about it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy this dante hall video i'm excited they actually dropped the limited time legend today because i did not think they would i thought my i thought they would but it got, as it got closer to 10.30 and I had heard nothing, I wasn't expecting it. Obviously, they did. Super hyped for that. Hopefully, it's on the blockchain so we can go check out the, you know, the actual card in the game. But until then, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And obviously, it's football Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to go down below. Comment down below if you guys want to pick up that down thing. Am I, am I just bugging right now? Or is it look as good as it looks to me? And uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. Turn on notifications so you guys can always get notified when I post brand new videos just like this. I probably only do two videos today because obviously I want to go watch some football, got some things to do. So expect the market talk that should be coming up. 
not i was gonna post it at 10 30 because of this I'll probably push back later that's about it for the video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up let's get this video to 250 likes all the loyal fans all the supporters all the ogs always don't don't forget to always hit the like button but that's it i'm out see you guys in the next video peace